So guys, I did my skincare already and I'm jumping straight into primer. I'm not trying to waste any time because it's it's on the dot 3 a.m. in the morning and it's Friday and I haven't slept yet. And I just finished work about an hour, two hours ago. I think about two hours ago at like one or so. And um, I went over, I did my nails. I did some red nails. I missed the red and i did some washing in that time and then i decided you know what i want to film this video i really want to do a valentine's day theme video i might not be with bae but definitely can celebrate it with your friends as well which i am gonna do um today i almost say tomorrow because this should have been tomorrow let me take off my ring i was told that certain products and chemicals and like hand lotions and hand washes and like dishwashers can like damage your ring so I don't know if I'm being too over, over dramatic, which I think I probably am, but I love my rings. So I want to try and protect it as best as I can. And so I'm using two primers because one is more of a tacky texture and it just get things stuck onto my face a little better. And this one is more of a pore filling primer. And I just, I just like that because I've got a lot of pores and my nose like this area here is just not my favorite so i just like to get rid of all of that get rid of it and this just makes my skin feel super smooth so i like that and then with the excess i just rub it on my chin because i do have like very pory and pumply skin over here and we just move it around on the rest of the face as well anyway now that that is done i'm gonna talk to you guys about what i'm planning on doing in this video so i'm doing a double up look oops let's just cover up here one for like day to night maybe you want to dress up in the house maybe you want to dress up for going out i don't really know what is allowed in your area but whatever you do do you boo boo so that's what we're doing today we're doing a tonight this morning i don't even know what it is at this point, I'm going to use the palette's um, mirror just to get this done. Alright, I don't think I'm going to do too much makeup. I just, I was going to change my hair, guys, honestly, for this Valentine's Day thing. But it's super late in the morning. It's just, I can't go wake my hair now and go sleep with wet hair. So I'm just going to leave it as is. So I'm going to just do my brows off camera quickly because it's. I don't really want to fill it in. I just want to quickly do some things to it. I'll show you what products I use when I come back and then we will go into eyes. I use the Wet n Wild Mega Clear. I actually am not a big fan of the Wet n Wild one. I actually prefer the Essence one. It looks exactly the same. But yeah, I had this one on deck so I used that. And then I also used the Revolutions London Revolution Makeup uh, Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Brown. And it just looks like that. It's it's nothing fancy just a brow pencil and it's inexpensive and then for my lips i'm just quickly gonna put the alabama bold honey hawaii lip balm and this is in the shade or the flavor coconut cream and my lips need some coconut cream because i'm also dry i'm a little tired and the energy in my voice is very flat and low and i don't want that to kind of be in the video so what i'm gonna do is i know there's a massive pimple on my forehead ignore that i'm going to do a voiceover and i'm gonna watch some youtube because that kind of gets me happy so i'm just gonna watch some videos on my phone are we gonna voice over this ish oh the palette that i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use my morphe palette and this is the 15s palette this the is social on. butterfly the palette's name is called social butterfly and that's exactly not who i am but this is the shade it's a bit messy my palettes are quite nasty i've had this one for like a while i actually have to get rid of this one soon but i do want to buy it again because i really like the mirror on it and that's personally why i bought it because there's a lot of pinks and purples on my thing i'm going to go for a neutral look because I don't really want to do a whole Valentine's Day look. So I'm going to kind of get you closer. So that's the palette I'm going to use. And then the concealer that I'm using is the Fit Me. This bad boy just doesn't let me down. This is the Fit Me Maybelline. And this is in the shade 30. I don't know the name of it. It just says shade 30. So we're going to use that and get into it. This one is by far my favorite. And
to some face makeup and I'm gonna cover some of these little bumps on my face I'm going to just put a little bit more of this primer on this is a pore filling primer instant pore eraser just over the little bumps and I'm not gonna put foundation on I'm not a big foundation girl I literally don't wear foundation unless I really really have to or unless it's like at a special occasion but like I wanted to do it for the video but like I'm trying to be realistic and I don't want to do something that I wouldn't actually do so let's be realistic in this one I'll do a foundation thing some other time again like I only ever really wear foundation when I have to I'm gonna go in with my concealer again this is almost done Z's of life and this concealer is just gonna go over here and I'm gonna try and get that little bump and I'm gonna do the under eyes. I don't like letting it sit underneath my under eyes. I know that's kind of a thing that people do. I just don't like that. It gets a little bit too dry to the point where I can't blend it around. And I don't like that. Um, I'd rather have it more sheer than not moving the way that I need it to, you know. And I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. I always do. I kind of put powder over my primer. And that for me kind of gives me the illusion that I'm wearing a full face of makeup when I'm just having powder on my face. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in and I just kind of press this onto the skin. I don't know, just this is what works for me. I have a lot of like little scarring of like old pimples and things, but I honestly don't feel that I need to wear full face of makeup ever. And so this is kind of what I always do. I just I throw powder over it and yes this makes me look a little crazy but I will get there soon it will get better it first has to get worse before it gets better like trust the process you know like I feel like when I do makeup I just have fun and the times that I don't think about it and don't try to look good I just I look flawless and then I'm like why do I look so good and I'm going nowhere so I'm just gonna get a little powder brush and I'm gonna powder this away and I usually don't put the powder up so high to my eye because I usually still contour or conceal so I don't know now what I'm gonna do because I usually don't do that so just a little goes a long way I think you just and I like to blend the spot a bit of a down I have a very yellow undertone and so a more yellow tone concealer even powder works for me a lot better um so if i look yellow and you don't like it i don't have a problem with it so yeah i'm gonna put some powder on that and then do the other eye i like to do eye for eye just because i don't like the eye to crease i am a young lady but i have lots of little things underneath my eyes so back into the essence one this is the true mahogany one and my palette is like dead dead like i hit pan on this thing a while back and I repurchased this. I actually found an old one back when I got home and I loved it again. I was like, oh, I remember the days where I used to only wear this bronzer because it's all I could afford, first of all. But this was a balm bronzer. And now I still want to use it. So just shows you how good it is. And it smells like chocolate. So I love that. So I'm just contouring the ish out of my face. I like a brown face, so I will sometimes go higher than I should. Or a little bit more messy than I should. I honestly love bronze everything. I usually do a cream contour but like since we're gonna be doing a very chilled makeup look because we're gonna be looking cute for the house we don't have to go all crazy with our bronzer and even concealer you don't have to do it because you're gonna be inside and your boo is gonna be with you or your friends are gonna be with you and you're just looking cute. It's just a cute look if you want to take a cute little picture which I think I should do, but we'll see. And we're just going to do a little bit of a bronze. A little bit. I'm probably going to go ham on this bronze, honestly. So let me just bronze up. I'm going to try and speed through this. And my face is basically done. I'm going to do some blush after this. And the blush that I use is the Rimmel London blush. And this is in third base, 001. It's a very light peachy kind of tone i don't really like overpowering blushes i know people say that um pink blushes make you look youthful i don't really like the pink blushes i don't like anything pink generally and i don't mind looking older so um 
yeah and you can see i even take my contour onto my forehead where i put the powder because i like looking brown even though i just went all in there with the concealer i like looking brown so let me just do the little cheekbone you see on camera it's super brown but like when i look in the mirror down here i look i don't look brown enough but like on camera i'm brown brown so i'm hoping that i have real brown and then i'm gonna take this brush and i'm gonna rub away or wipe away whatever you call it the boik i do this because i don't like my under eyes looking ghost like which is like white white so if you don't want to do this don't do it i just like doing it okay guys so this is me showing you how i really look because i look like a grandmother right now but this is a comfy granny because yeah i'm at home so who cares anyway face done just a light beat and yeah i'm gonna get out all of these leggings and jersey and we're gonna get into three possible cute little date night outfits something that you can maybe wear if you are just this is a very comfortable outfit so i feel like you can wear this indoors and still be sexy for your person this i feel is very sexy that you can wear out because it's very like satin and silk and yes it's creased i'm not going to steam it I'm sorry, so just ignore the creases, pretend it's not there because we have that relationship, we understand each other. And then I got something like if you are at home and you are going to have like a cute glam, but you still want to be super, super comfy, I thought this would be a great idea for an outfit. I got some shoe options at the bottom, but yeah, let's get out of these and get into flow. So this is a two-piece set and this is something that I definitely will wear out. I didn't think that I would love this as much as I do. This is also in another wall coming out but it's not part of the Shein haul. However, it is such a great piece. Uh, just ignore these points. My hanger kind of makes it look so weird and that's why I'm hanging it in this section now. Because the hanger kind of makes it pointy and I have very short shoulders. Like my shoulders are not... And then we're going to be wearing it with these white heels from Shein and they tie up the leg. Boom, boom, boom. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later the day. You guys probably saw me filming early this morning and I probably didn't have the best energy. But now we're jumping in to my Galentine Day look vibe. We actually I think a little bit of a sleepover, pajama sleepover. I got my PJs on. I roll up the waistband because it's super long um so yeah i got my pajama set on and i basically just got out of the shower now put it on immediately because i don't have a lot of time a little bit on the rushed side and yeah so after i washed my hair i put a little treatment sorry there's a lot of hair around it i put this little treatment in my hair this is the um olive oil deep conditioner from palmer's and yeah, I split my hair in half because I'm gonna do a cute little hairstyle and I'm not gonna do makeup for this look but I'm definitely gonna I did upload a skincare video at the beginning of the year and I am uploading a Fenty skincare really soon. I think it's after this post so just keep your eyes open and ready for that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All you're gonna need for this little hairstyle is like a comb or like a little brush. I don't think I'm gonna flatten or brush my hair flat, I just wanna see how it looks. You need a bit of elastic um, hair tie thingies. I'm gonna use the white. Um, just because I want to see how it's going to look on my hair. And we are going to go right into it. I'm not going to use a mirror, so this is going to be difficult. Um, I'm just going to grip up my the one side of my hair and then focus on the one. And then we'll do both sides and then I'll show you guys how it's going to look. Let's get into it. I put my hair in this little part. I have this in my head, so I don't know how it's going to... It's a lot of product in my hair, I'm not going to lie, more than I would usually have. And I'm going to put a bit of gel on as well. Just because I want to flatten out the heel bit. So I'm going to go... I tried a small section in front, but I didn't like the way that it looked. So we're going to take bigger sections. I'm going to take it from the middle of my head. And we're going to part it all the way down to my ear. That much. Okay, it's not completely... Okay, it's straight. <laughs> and I'm just throwing that piece back. And then I'm going to take a little bit of gel. I'm going to dip the teaser in the little gel. Not a lot. Because um, there is a bit of product on my hair to make my hair, you know, protect it and heal it. But I also want to make sure that the style itself looks cute. So yeah, I'm going.
is done i actually had to rinse some of the product out of the side because it was just too much in my hair there's still there's still quite a few there's still quite a lot of product in the side of my head but once the hair dries it will gl hopefully gladly disappear go away um i just laid some baby hairs quickly i'm gonna put on my moisturizer if you want to see a skincare video that i did read it at the beginning of the year i'll try and link it down below and you can see that if you'd like so i'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of moisturizer and yeah this will be the little galentine's day indoor look that you can do for bay you can do this with yourself for yourself with your girls whatever you choose to do i was gonna do a little bit of brow gel in my brows but we are going to be doing skincare so i don't want to be doing anything that's not skincare related and yeah this is the final little look for your valentine's i hope you enjoy i just tried to do something different with the hair for this video just because at the beginning of the video i did not really put that much effort into the hair i kind of just kept the hair style that i had um mainly because it was super early so i hope you guys understand i hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the next one bye